Hello everybody, Momo from the Momo Zone. Hope everybody's having a great day and welcome to Just Ask a Momo. Today's letter is a great one and it goes like this. Hey Momo, I was just wondering what the difference between feeling in control and being in control is or if there is even one. Like I'm not the most interesting or funny person in the world and I'm working on that but I don't want to be the stupid guy that thinks he's interesting and funny and charming when he's really not. The question is, how do I know when you've reached these kinds of abstract goals or do you just never stop working for them? I could really use your help. I need friends. This is a two part question. First of all, no, you never stop. You know why? Because things are always changing. There's always evolution. You always got to stay on top of your game. It's kind of like a computer. You need the updates or one of these days your computer is going to be way behind and it's just not going to work with everything else that's out there and that's just the way it goes. The other part, which is I think such a great question, the difference between feeling in control and being in control. Is it possible to be in control while feeling in control? <laughs> Absolutely. The point is this. What kind of control do you want to portray? There's two different kinds of control. The kind of control that is based on fear. You're going to do whatever that person is basically doing or what, you know, if it's your boss or whoever's in control and out of fear because, you know, you're either going to lose your position or lose your face or lose something. And then there's the kind of control that is based on confidence. People like a strong leader. People like people who believe in what they're doing without necessarily having to say too much or, you know, at least having the proof be in the pudding. Some of the biggest people that I know in the business stay pretty humble. The ones that flap, flap, flap about everything they're doing, uh, already you have a problem with social anxiety. You don't want to be dealing with those kind of people. They're going to give you a fucking headache. When you feel like you're in control and you're not you're just usually working on ego you're looking for that power piece you're looking for that pedestal for you to be able to stand on to make you feel like fuck yeah i am somebody i got a fucking cigar in my mouth it's that speedy muffler feeling i don't know if you guys uh, remember that speedy muffler thing or it's before your days you know you got to be man enough to be able to admit when you think you're in control and you're not without feeling like someone just cut off your balls. People respect a truthful man. Times have changed. Times are just not what they used to be. So, you know, women are much more in control than they used to be. And guys are much more at home than they used to be. And everything is more just equal than it used to be. And that's just the way it goes. And that's good. Confidence and being in control is one and the same. It also works in conjunction with experience. When you're in control is because you're comfortable with what is happening and you're comfortable with your decisions. And those decisions usually come out because of experience. Anything that's been done for the first time can never be 100% sure that it's going to work in any situation. I mean, it's, it's the beta testing stage until they come to the first time they test the fucking thing and and then you have your result as to whether it's going to be roadworthy or not and, and that's the cycle of of products and and people and reactions and and everything else that comes out there when you have an idea and you want to bring it to fruition being in control is staying calm and making rational decisions not jumping the gun being in control is caring about what the outcome of the total project is going to be and to other people it's going to be acceptable loss right now we're talking about a personal level you you getting out and not having social anxiety and being able to mellow out on feeling that way people will respect the knowledge so you could be a very knowledgeable person but don't go around like flapping it you know, use it. It's your advantage. It's your personal weapon. It's your thing. You know what I mean? Those are your attributes. When you're shy and you don't want to go out there, well, what do you got? You got yourself, your knowledge, you're locked on your computer, you're doing your thing, you're full of information. So instead of letting it get all scattered up and not knowing what to do with it, shove it in some goddamn files in your head, okay, and use that stuff. I want to thank you for writing me that letter, and uh, I hope this helps. And I want to thank everybody for taking the time to watch and write 
and you guys have been watching Just Ask Momo. <laughs>